Um, welcome to our number corner today. We are going to start by sharing our screen. And let me see. All right. So we are in April. This is our last week of April, April 27th. And we've been looking at Raphael's garden bed when we've been looking at our calendar. So we're going to do a quick review, look at the whole that we have been doing, the sets that we've been looking at. And starting April 10th, we had another group, a whole. And April 14th, we had a set. And April 18th, it got a little interesting. We had a mix of whole and sets. And then last time we met, we had a set with apples and raspberries. All right, so think about what we might see today. Are we seeing some type of pattern that you can predict in your head what we might see today? Are we gonna have a whole, a set, or maybe a mixture? Let's take a look. All right, so. We're gonna start with the 25th and it's already open. Let's take a look at that. So this would be a whole, it's a circle, divided into four equal parts and it's flowers this time. One, two, three, four, five, six flowers. So we have both a whole circle and a set of flowers. We had four parts and of a circle and I can't remember what I counted anymore. Was it six? Yep, six flowers. So that means one fourth, one out of four parts had flowers. Because there were six flowers, we could say six equaled one fourth. So if we filled the entire thing with flowers, we'd have to put six in each part. Hmm. Put in the chat how many flowers would we have all together if we had six, 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 and six? We have to do some math. Maybe do some doubling. All right. So if we know this is day 24, five let's take a look at that was saturday look at sunday hmm i bet you have a good prediction of what we're going to see ah we don't have four equal parts anymore where did it go we have three parts and one two three four five six seven eight flowers are in one of the three parts so we have a hole with a set we have three parts and eight flowers. So that means that since we have three parts, the fraction is one out of three, one third has flowers. Or we could say eight is equal to one third. So if we were gonna find the total, the whole amount of flowers, we'd have to do eight plus eight plus eight. And you should get the same answer as you got here on Saturday for how many flowers are all together. Let's look at, take a look at today. Today is the 27th, our last Monday in April. Ooh, all right, I see two equal parts. Let's count the flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Again, if we have 12 here, that means we'd have to have 12 there. So you should know how many total flowers from the very beginning that we had. So we have a whole, we have a set, we had two parts and 12 flowers. That means one out of two or our halves had flowers in it or 12 equaled one half of that set. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here. I wanna see, I see 20 answers in our chat. Awesome. I see a lot of you were counting how many flowers were in that hole. Good job, everybody. Now I'm gonna go back and we're gonna look at this one more time. 
and we're going to look at the 28th. That's tomorrow. Let's take a look at April 28th. Ah, wow. So if we were correct in our equations, I like that some of you didn't put just the answer, you put the equations in the chat. Let's count carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I counted 24 flowers in the whole shape. So back to here, six plus six is 12. So you do 12 plus 12, that's 24. Eight plus eight is 16, another eight is 24. 12 plus 12, again, you know that, you should, is 24. And that's what I saw in the chat. So we had one part, that's a whole, and 24 flowers. One whole circle equaled 24 flowers. Now that we're getting closer to May, it's time that we can start planting some flowers. A lot of people like to start planting maybe sometime after Mother's Day. Sometimes um, mothers get flowers for Mother's Day so they can go out and plant them. We can start seeing more of those growing. All right, so it's time to look at our plant growth chart. So if you remember, unfortunately, we had um, a mishap with our corn plant and it really is not surviving. So we're just gonna take a look at our peas. Try to get in there as close as I can. The peas are very happy. I wonder almost if the corn got too much water. I've never grown plant um, corn inside the house before. So I just wonder maybe the peas like the water but not the corn, I'm not sure what happened. If you've ever grown corn and you know what, um, if you're an expert, you tell me what, what I did wrong. All right, so here is my pea. I gotta stretch this little all the way up and it looks like it's at 18 and a half. You can't see the top of that, I don't think. We're about 18 and a half centimeters with this guy. And yeah, maybe closer to 18 but the one in the front and the one back here, he's not growing quite as high. He's about 10 centimeters. My corn is flopped over here, but it's starting to decompose. He's maybe at 12 centimeters. And my other one just laying there decomposing, completely um, dying. So let's go back here and put our information into the chart. Thankfully, we only have one more meeting left in um, April since our corn didn't make it. So same thing, our P number one. Um, oh, something just fell. My cat decided to get into my greenhouse. Hang on, guys. I took my plants out. I left my greenhouse open, and my, my cat absolutely loves dirt. So, oh, he got into some. All right, so here we go, April 27th. I don't think I was quite at 19 today. I, was, I only saw 18 centimeters. So I have to take away one centimeter from our last meeting. P number two is still at 10 centimeters. And I'm not even gonna worry about our corn because it's not living anymore. So um, I'm gonna put an 18 centimeter, I'm gonna put that on our line plot and a 10 centimeter with my peas. Okay. All right, let me grab it, come on, okay. 18, oh, that's 19. I'm gonna go all the way down here to 18. And we had one at 10 centimeters. All right, so look again at our line plot. 13 centimeters was our highest line plot because our corn kind of grew to 13 centimeters and stayed there. Our highest number so far is 19 centimeters and our lowest was one centimeter. That's where we started. Okay, so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit now about this week. Last week we did addition strategies. We did really well with learning those strategies and practicing them. You were pretty familiar with them. We were just, the only thing that was different was we had three digit numbers that we were dealing with larger numbers. This week we're gonna be doing some subtraction strategies. I really want you to watch the video and make sure mom and dad watch it as well so they can see what the three strategies are. Later this week, you're gonna watch a second subtraction video that's gonna add one new strategy. 
to this, but we're gonna start with these three basic strategies. Um, I want to show you our slideshow quickly today. Something really important in here. Um, if you can, I want you to try to print the May hidden picture grid. It's here in Schoology. We're gonna use this when we come together again on Thursday for our number corner. And you're gonna use this picture every time we meet in May. So a little bit different. If you can't print, don't worry about it. Just follow along and watch. But if you have a printer and you can print, have that ready. You're also going to need some crayons, markers, or colored pencils. Um, anything that you can put color on this grid. And you're um, going to follow along and add to that every time we meet. We're also going to try something completely different on Thursday. We're going to try to switch back and forth between using our Zoom and using a Pear Deck for our number corner. That way you guys can interact with it a little bit more. So it might be a little tricky. I had to practice to get the hang of it, but um, I'm kind of excited to try something new when we start our May number corner. Um, so like I said, there's gonna be a movie to watch. There's gonna be a Brain Pop Junior today to do a subtraction. There's a new book to read. We're gonna continue looking at water and the water cycle this week. Today, you're going to read your Wendy Day story. Hopefully you still have it so you can read it and you're gonna do that on Flipgrid. And then you're gonna go and choose at least one friend's writing that you like best and record a message to them. Let, let them know what you think about their writing. If you don't have it, I made a folder in Schoology. Everyone's writing is inside that folder in the writing course. You can always go back and look there. I hope you're doing your specials. You should have done one of each of these this week. You can take one day off where you don't do a special. And like I said, we're gonna be looking a little bit more at the water cycle um, this week. All right, so I'm going to stop our number four.